from now on, I am going to talk about human resources development of Korea in the field of IP. As you know, Korea was a heavy recipient of international economic aid. But now, Korea is able to give aid to the other nations. This transformation from a recipient to a donor has never happened in any other countries in the world. Let me briefly mention about it for now because I will leave many other lecturers have already talked about it. The driving force how Korea has become a donor from a recipient is will to economy. Will to economy. Korea had established five-year economic development plan in 1962. 1962. Through this, Korea laid the foundation for industrialization and set a firm basis of economic development throughout seven consecutive five-year economic development plans. These economic development plans have been powering Korea to transform itself ever since. At this time, I would like to point out the human resources development of Korea. Tony Blair, who served as Prime Minister of the United Kingdom for more than 10 years since 1997, said education is the best economic policy. Yes, the philosophy has been a spirit of Korea. And former U.S. President Barack Obama has openly praised Korea's passion for education. In Korea, education has never been a matter of choice even for a needy family. As a result, we have accomplished the highest higher education rate in the world. The rate of higher education among 55 to 64 year old was the lowest, as you see, the lowest level. But it's the highest among 25 to 34, where you can get a glimpse of the passion for education. Huge gap and biggest change it. It shows the power and energy for education in Korea. If we look at the statistic in detail, Korea ranks first in mathematics score among OECD countries, number one. Worldwide, Korea ranked the top two or three in terms of mathematics and science score. From now on, I'm going to narrow the scope a little bit and talk about invention education. Invention education is available in elementary, middle school, and high schools in Korea. It is introduced as a part of courses like technology or housekeeping. In 2017, a regular course called General Course on Intellectual Property has been introduced. More than 10,000 students take this class each year. In addition to this regular course, there are 
more than 200 invention education centers nationwide, learning, extracurricular activities. Elementary school students interested in invention are fulfilling their dream by help of these centers. Students who have interest in invention can attend many invention competitions like Korea Student Creativity Competition Ship or Korea Student Invention Exhibition. These two competitions is the very symbolic and biggest competition in Korea in the field of intellectual property. Korea Student Creativity Championship is a competition where students team up to work on assignments the headquarters provides. Korea Student Invention Exhibition is similar as well, but there is a teacher for each team and they make presentation on any subject they want. Winners will receive a certificate, prize, money, and opportunities to attend foreign training program. The Invention Innovation Competition goes a step further and is connected to humanistic literacy. The Invention Writing Cartoon Competition is sponsored by PASCO, the world-class steel company, which has been held annually for 42 years. The cartoon on the right is an awarded piece of a 17th grader. Student material. The cartoon on the right is awarded piece to reduce work of the road sweeper who cleaned ginkgo fruits. The student invented a fruit picking device made out of a rubber. Although it may seem incomplete, it can be an opportunity to develop the inventor's dream. I have introduced regular courses, extracurricular activities, and various competitions. However, spreading the invention spirit nationwide is not that easy. In order to further spread the spirit of invention, KIPA is operating IP Academy, a distance learning education platform. It has 271 distance learning content and has about 400,000 users each year. It's probably the most powerful online IP learning platform in the world. One thing worth noting is that this distance learning content created by Kipa was once one too many in the past. Kipa is a producer, student is a consumer, it's a traditional type. But now, it is available in many to many types where learners actively participate in the making of the content, share their knowledge and experience each other using SNA system. And there are 677 youth journalists actively working as an IP correspondent on SNS. They share news and content about invention and innovation with each other. This is a big change from one to many to many to many. Many international organizations have praised our distance learning content made in Korea. Requests for content development in English are also on the upsurge. There are a total nine content which are developed by World Intellectual Property Organization, KIPO, and KIPA. 
Getting creativity with Bororo has a viewer of nearly 8 million. Panorama distance learning education content is available in 24 languages, including the entire UN official languages. If you would like to experience this content, search for Getting Creative with Bororo and IP Panorama on YouTube. Before we move on to the next page, let me ask you a direct question. Do you know why I choose two content? Getting Creative with Bororo, IP Panorama out of a nine. Why? Because I was the project director of these two content. What is the ultimate goal of education, which we have looked through so far? That would be changing the world, changing the business field. In order to do this, it is very important that education and profession are intertwined. School to work, work to school, they must be intertwined. Education has to be linked to a job. Field experience in a job should be linked to education. This is the real education. To narrow the distance between education and business site, KIPA holds a competition called Campus Pattern Strategy Universal with global companies such as Samsung, LG, SK, and Hyundai. University students participate in the assignment that companies present. Students who win the award are given incentive to work for the company. Students from student former team and enter the contest. There are more than 1,000 teams competing on this program. This day, company put more emphasis on IP capability of student. To verify this, KIPA provide intellectual property competence test, which is called IP, AT, iPad. Do you know TOEIC? Probably you may know the TOEIC. It's a test to measure the English ability used in business field. Please understand iPad as IP TOEIC. Started in 2011, the number of students taking the test is on the rise. Currently, about 7,000 students participate each year. In, this, in addition to this kind of job employment, there is another process which is called startup. Startup. Keep operation entrepreneur program for next generation gifted students. Many invention gifted students have been participating since the day of a junior high school student. This time, I'm going to introduce two recent achievement. On the right one. The Huang Songjie case, he is a student who invented a learning tool using smartphone. And this invention was transferred into Samsung Electronics for 500,000 US dollar. Very huge. It's a good example of invention commercialization. 
on the left one. This is very symbolic and this is very hot case this day. It was introduced by my wife. On the left one is junior high school student who invented application called Coronavirus Now, which is now hitting the battlefield. There are many related applications, but they are ranked number one in Korea. What is even more extraordinary is that they are donating all the revenue that coming from here. Their future seems very bright. I hope that there will be more success cases from this program. The government of Korea has enacted Invention Education Promotion Act in 2017 on the basis that invention education is the core strategy for national competency. It is legislative support to enable more systematic and strategic invention education, which has been carried out, fragmented. We would like to provide holistic, holistic approach. At this point, we may have one question. What? Uh, we know the importance of IP education and what and how do we teach in, in invention education? Isn't it impossible in uh, developing countries? We can have that kind of questions. This time I'm going to give you good education method. It may sound ironic, but imitation could be useful method for invention training. Have you ever heard that there is nothing new under the sun? I have already talked about it first class. It means that the area of a human is something to something else, not nothing to something. Many scholars, such as anthropologist Joel Lich, biologist Francis Jacob, economist Frederick Hayek, supported the possibility of a creation through creative imitation. Look at the real world. Almost every company, including McDonald's, Walmart, Apple, started off with imitation and become a global giant company. According to Harvard Business Review, more than 97% of a global reading company study from imita imitation. Steve Jobs, huh? we called him a god of IP. Steve Jobs is one of the most influential inventor of the 21st century. How did he invent? He believed in what Picasso once said, good artists copy, great artists steal. It sounds ironic. It's hard to understand now. Next page will show what it means. Let's look at the mobile phone Steve Jobs made. Is there a new invention created by Steve Jobs? Antenna, display, modem, camera, and so on. What is the invention created by Steve Jobs? There is nothing. They were all widely used technology, however, Steve Jobs has made an innovative invention through creative recombination. Apple versus Nokia, who became the winner of the mobile phone market, 
as you know, Apple is the winner. And then Apple spend more money on research and development than Nokia? No. Nokia spent more than four times of the research and development cost than Apple. What it means? It shows that the power of imitation. Though Apple uses just creative recombination with a small budget, it could pass the original company. Imitation can be a good chance for innovation. Uh, there are so many cases of a winner through imitation. The iPad imitates Xerox Packpot, which was invented 19 years ago. iPad imitates Packpot. It was invented 19 years ago. Do you remember the effective period of a pattern? Yes, 20 years. I have already told you first class, 20 years from filing. The effective date of a Xerox Park pad is almost finished. At the time, Steve Jobs designed to utilize the previous pattern of the others. The pattern can be used by anyone after the effective period. Steve Jobs cleverly took advantage of it. Who invented the electric car? We believe, we think, it is nat naturally, it was invented by Elon Musk of Tesla. No, it was invented by Robert Anderson in 1834, about 200 years ago. Tesla began with imitation and reached innovative invention. There are many interesting cases like this today. Digital camera use what Kodak already invented in 1975. Kodak invented first. 3D systems, 3D printers are imitating the invention of 3D systems in 1984. Invention through imitation can always be the seed of innovation. What was life like for Pablo Picasso? whom Steve Jobs admired so much. Why Steve Jobs admired Pablo Picasso? Picasso, who said, good artist copy, great artist steal, was an imitation genius himself. When Picasso appeared, all of his friends hid their paintings. Picasso's work, The Young Ladies in Avions, located on the right, Imitate five batters painted by Paul Cezanne on the left. Imitate. Picasso's The Women of Algeria is an abstraction that imitates the women of Algeria in this apartment of Eugene Dracas. Why did Steve Jobs appreciate Picasso, who was an image? Imitation genius. Why? The reason for that will be explained by the next page. Do you know what this picture means? What this picture is? Picasso's bull's head. On the way home, Picasso made a bicycle handle and saddle that was abandoned in a local garbage. Dump. How much was it sold for the London Ocean House? Don't be surprised. It was sold 25 million US dollar. If I had made it, I would have been scolded by my wife. But how could this piece? which is just cabbage be sold for 25 million US dollar. 
Can you imagine the manufacturing cost of the bull's head? Can you imagine the manufacturing cost? Nothing. The value, value and the price is a little different. Value means manufacturing cost means nothing. But the price is more than 25 million US dollar. This is the value of Picasso and what Steve Jobs admired. I hope that your country will have an active invention education and a lot of good inventions will be born in your countries. At first, it would be mainly sustained innovation, imitating existing inventions. Do not hesitate to imitate other invention. It is the starting point, but not the final destiny. You don't have to hesitate. Like Steve Jobs, like Pablo Picasso. Imitation can be a great starting point. But in the end, I hope that disruptive innovation will happen to your countries. How surprised you are when you see the black swan while everyone says the swan is white. Have you ever seen black swan? I have read the book Black Swan written by Rashid Taleb. It's very touching. Everybody thinks that swan is white, but if you see the black swan, your thought and your philosophy can be changed totally. That's the meaning of a black swan. The shocking, creative destruction, dis destructive creation. I hope that this shocking invention like black swan will be created in your countries. Uh, let's have a quiz time. I'm going to give you several questions. And first one, as opposed to sustaining innovation, what is the name of innovation that completely displays current product or services? We, we believe this concept is originally made by Schumpeter, but it is created by Nietzsche. You can find the answer at the Black Swan page. At that page, I provide two types of uh, innovation. Please think about electricity. Who invented? Candle manufacturer did not invent electricity. Who invented email? Postman didn't invent email. This kind of innovation, I mean. Second question, yes or no question. Was the electric car invented by Tesla? Elon Musk? I have already mentioned the importance of imitation. So you can get the answer very easily, I think. Third question, guess, this is one of the joke, guess the distance learning content name, which is directed by me. I have told you that I directed two global distance learning program. It's one of them. It is translated into 24 languages, including entire UN official languages. If you cons concentrate on my class, you can get the answer very easily. Good luck. See you in third class.